Andrew. So what's going on, man? Where are we going? Where you, where you got me headed today? Well, it's always nice to support your local reefing club, and we just had that Lyra event at our house. Maybe that went well. That went well. Apparently, there is a high school no more than 20 minutes away from here by the famous Walt Whitman Mall called the Walt Whitman High School yep. Yep. Uh, that has a program. It's unclear to us whether it's an elective or a club. Uh, we're we're going to find out ourselves. Do some research from what yeah. I'm hearing. But they have posted in our group several time, times now and I saw big tanks big colonies. with big colonies. Hi everybody, we are at uh, sort of my home turf in Long Island. In Long Island. Uh, we drove a whopping 20 minutes away from my house at this monstrous high school, Walt Whitman High School. Home of how many people we're we talking about here? About 2,400 students. 2,400 students. And they have this really cool marine bio slash research program for elective uh, and for science credits. Yes, the students actually get college credit for science research too. Being in the class, students um, can take science research for all four years and uh, they could get really good at a research topic and they could, they could continue that research and get better at it each year. You've been teaching at this school for how long? For about seven years now. Seven years now. Yeah. And always down here in, the, in this research yeah, so, center. Yeah, so this is, this, this is sort of your place. Yeah, this was like an empty classroom, empty space. They kind of said, kind of make this your own, do what you want with it. And then um, they've been really accommodating, letting us put all these saltwater aquariums in here and throughout the entire school. Because uh, a lot of the students have been really interested in, in marine science and marine research. Right. And we, we hope to uh, help them study some more subjects and, and uh, give them some corals and uh, help them out. You see we have a lot of computer work here. Um, and there's also kids doing projects like this. Right over here we had a student. One thing that we've learned that we're having difficulties doing is when we want to actually test or do anything with a coral, we gotta find a quarantine system because we don't wanna dose the whole um, reef system. So this is what a young lady designed uh, this year where right now, in each one of these cylinders, uh, you put a coral, you, you can regulate temperature by the water below it. We had aeration, we had lighting on top. And you know, it, it, was, a, it was, she did a, a phenomenal job and unfortunately it's just difficult to do to, yeah, make, to make a homemade uh, quarantine system. What's up, guys? So I'm here with uh, John Carabias. He's uh, he's a teacher here at Walt Whitman, and uh, teaches marine biology. I do. He's been around for what 23 years now. Yeah, a long time. So tell me a Since little bit, 90s. a little bit of how you're involved with this this whole this sure. whole situation here. So about 12, 15 years ago, uh, I was asked by a district to create and write the marine biology course, which we did. It's been uh, running ever since. It's been an amazing class. So many kids have benefited from that. Uh, recently, uh, Mr. Farako was brought in to get a research program, program going, and he has created an amazing program, and it got so big that they had to bring another teacher in, so they brought me in because I have some research background uh, outside of the classroom, and since then it's been Mr. Farako and I team teaching research with my marine biology background and his technology background. So I have to ask you this. like. Do the kids get excited about the curriculum? <laughs> you know, when they register, I don't know what their background is, if they're already in love with the program or not. Uh, fortunately, I feel like a lot of them take the class because it's me 
And I don't mean that in, in, a, in, a, in any way other than the fact that I teach very differently. And as much as I teach kids about marine biology and organisms, I teach about life lessons and we call it the daily dose. But I have had uh, students that have gone on to be you know, marine biologists. Really? Oh, awesome. absolutely. Not many, you know, I'm not going to lie, but if there's seven or eight kids out there now that have a career because of the marine biology program, that, that's special.